Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston. Today we're back with some more NHL 15 on line gameplay here today for you. I will be using the Philadelphia Flyers. My opponent will be using Shea Weber's Nashville Predator Predators. And the reason I say Shea Weber's Nashville Predators is of course uh he almost was a flyer a couple years ago, but uh, unfortunately for them, Nashville decided to uh, I believe they matched the offer sheet or don't remember the exacts, but anyway, we are ready to get into this game. Claude Giroux winning the opening faceoff, and we are underway here on uh, make make believe NBC's broadcast team here with Doc Emmerich, Eddie Olchek, and all the good guys. But anyway, uh, you see early opportunity for my opponent there. Forsberg jams that shot right into the pads of Steve Mason, but a big check right there from uh, Matthews or Michael Delzato, excuse me, on Mike Ribeiro, and then we get a good opportunity here, and Simmons buries that one in the back of the net. Great cross crease pass right there, and then it's rare that you actually see a right-handed shot score from the right side on a play like this in this game. But though we actually were able to do it there, that was a pretty bad play by their goalie, who I assume is Pekka Rene, but cannot confirm. But as you can see here, uh, Simmons just pretty much taps that one in, and I don't know what Rene was doing. So anyway, early one nothing lead. We get another opportunity here, Vinny LeCavalier, with some good puck handling, and then uh, dishes one off to RJ Umberger, who shot. Just uh, gets in, or ends up getting saved by Rene. And then another good opportunity for Nashville. Ghost ad shot ends up getting gloves saved by Mason. And uh, there would end up being a penalty on the play. So Nashville goes on the power play. As you can see, uh, our man gets sent to the box right there. Two minutes. I don't know what they would call here. I think uh, it will show up in just a moment. But uh, I think they call tripping. Not really sure why. I guess they think he tripped Travis Beck or whatever Beck's first name is. But uh, anyway, good opportunity there again. So plenty of good opportunities for Nashville so far. Steve Mason putting on a pretty good performance. we got six minutes left in the first period here. Some good puck cycling by the Predators. Open shot in front. Saved. Another shot goes wide. McDonald gets the rebound. Ends up clearing that puck out of the zone. Then final five seconds of the power play. We're bringing it up into their end. And some nice puck carrying here by our man right here going behind the net. Cross crease to Matt Reed. But again, the right-handed shot sort of at a disadvantage at that angle and cannot bury that one home. And then Simmons' shot gets blocked to end off the first period. So we head into the intermission. Philadelphia still on top. They got a 1-0 lead. We're into the beginning of the second year. Good puck handling by our man right here up to Jakub Voracek. Tried to give it back to Raffle, but uh, he, uh, or the pass was offline, I should say. So anyway, now another good opportunity for Mike Ribeiro and the Predators backhand shot right into the pads of Steve Mason. So we try to cycle this one out of our own end here. It goes behind the net, then in front to Colin Smith, who rings the post right there with the uh, slap shot. And a uh, good opportunity again for Nashville. So they're getting plenty of uh, shot opportunities here. Matt Reed dribbles right into the defense right there. Gets a good shot off from the slot, but nothing going there. Good save by Pekka Rinne, and now eight minutes left in the second period. This one will be dumped behind their net. Misplayed by Rinne and their defenseman, but we're going to get called for interference here on some crap call because, of course, you know, you can be near the puck, but if you don't have possession in this game, it's got to be interference. So, anyway, we start out the P PK uh, with a nice little takeaway right here. Sean Couturier with it. But we give it right back to Roman Yossi, to Beck, to Wilson, who spins in front and buries it. To tie up the game, the Predators have tied it at one. Colin Wilson, the recently re-signed Colin Wilson, got a four-year contract from the Predators the other day, ends up burying that one home, and it's a one-to-one -one ball game, or not ball game, you know what I mean. So anyway, Simmons bringing it up. Now we got a good two-on-one, gives it back to Couturier. Try to give it back to Simmons, but a good defensive play with a dive right there. Do break up the pass, big check, but it doesn't matter. Nashville's got it. Now here we go, two-on-zero, and he does nothing with it. Steve Mason falls on his ass. But it does not matter. McDonald clears the puck up to Matt Reed. Now Reed's got an opportunity of his own, weaving in and out of the defense, and he just misses wide. That would go out of play, and we're going to get an offensive zone faceoff here. So anyway, uh, now later in the period, here we go, carrying the puck up near the top of the uh, zone here. Matt Street down low, nothing to do right there. Could do pretty much nothing except uh, take the shot. Didn't really have anyone open, but not an ideal angle for a simple wrister right there. So... Nothing going. Now we're still at the end of the second period, and the game is still tied at one. And we're going to head into the into the intermission with the score still tied at one. Steve Mason banging the pipes right there. And a big lay check from, uh, I'm not even sure who that was, but he's going to end up running away. It might have been Matt Street, but anyway, a huge check right there. And that ends up running away. So now we go later in the third period, about a quarter of the way through. Couturier with the puck gives it up to Wayne Simmons. Simmons around the defense. Got a good little two-on-one opportunity. Waves in and out. Tries to pass this one off. But the pass gets uh, mishandled right there. Might have been tipped. 
and uh, nothing goes over that opportunity. So now Nashville with a good chance in front. Stahlberg, Victor Stahlberg's shot is saved. And another opportunity in front. A big save by Mason to keep this game title one. So here we go now. A good takeaway from Matt Reed up to Vinny LeCavalier. He's got a great opportunity coming in. Good breakup by Cody Fronson. And that opportunity is foiled. Now Couturier coming up. He's got a good opportunity. Tries to spin around. Gets something going. Keeps hold of this puck somehow. Great control. It's going to end up carrying it almost behind his own net. Draws a penalty somehow. Voracek's one-timer is blocked. And then uh, Nashville would get possession. And that would... Uh, Induce the penalty call right there. Santarelli with the puck up to Paul Gostad. Gostad all alone ends up putting that one right into Mason's pad. So now it's uh, Matt Reed bringing the puck up. And he gets tripped. So that's going to be another power player opportunity with 30 seconds to go in this third period. Still a tie game. So uh, last 30 seconds, really no opportunities. And we would head into overtime with this game tied at one goal apiece. So uh, we're going to head into overtime. Do or die here. Still on the power play. Four on three now. Thanks to overtime's four-on-four four rules. And a big boarding call right there. That's going to make it five-on-three. So a great opportunity for the Flyer uh, in this power player, in this overtime period, I should say. We cycle this one behind the net. Raffle with it now in front. And it's going to end up being a wrist shot on net right there. Giroux shot would end up being a save, though. Now Simmons carries it up. Gives it off to Raffle's one-timer. Is saved by Rene. Puck goes out to Simmons, who intercepts the pass right there and almost put that one home. And then in front to Simmons again on the one-timer, but his shot is saved. So now one final opportunity here, possibly. Here we go, in on net. Should have cross-creased that one. That is going to get saved. Now 113 left to play. Here comes Nashville. He gets the check right there by Matt Stupid. Forsberg collects it all alone. Backhand saved by Mason. Another big save from Steve Mason. Nine seconds left. One final opportunity for Nashville. Another pad save by Mason. McDonald collects this one. And he is going to end up giving it off to Matt Reed, who will run out the clock here. And we are headed for a shootout. So first round of the shootout, Claude Giroux is the first shooter. He's going to be saved, or his shot's going to be saved. It's saved by Rene. Now uh, here comes Michael Ribeiro for Nashville. He's going to put on the backhand, so Nashville leaves the shootout. one nothing. Wayne Simmons' turn. His backhand's going to be right into the glove of Rene. So now Steve Mason needs to make a save to extend this game, and he does on Philip Forsberg. We're headed to a round three. Here's Voracek. Backhand goes to the forehand and scores to tie up the shootout. Now we need a big save from Mason here, and he does get it. So that extends this one more round once again. Here comes Matt Reed now with the tied shootout in round four. Forehand, backhand scores. We take the lead, and we're a save away from victory. And Mason with the big stop, and the Flyers take home the shootout. A little come from behind shootout victory right there, but that would do it. The Flyers end up taking it 2-1 to one in the shootout, and that would do it. A big win right there. And uh, that was a pretty good game, I thought. I hope you guys did enjoy that. We got the final stats coming up here in just a moment. You can see only two points uh, for uh, two guys here for the Flyers. Braden Shen got the assist on Wayne Simmons' lone goal. And then uh, on Nashville side of things, two assists on Colin Wilson's lone goal. So anyway, that is going to do it. I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, you know, edition of NHL 15 Online Ranked. Thanks for watching, and I'm out. Peace.